Hello and welcome back. And again, that was If I Can Change the World for You by Bob Mill. Thank you for uh, taking his time for being on Skype. But um, let's talk real quick a couple of topics that we have here that I want to get through real quick. You know, many years ago, we say, okay, I remember, you know, everybody, oh, you know what this means, okay, or, you know, in gang signs, they do this thing, but this meant okay, but do you know now that that symbol is becoming a racial symbol for the uh, white supremacists that are, are using these words, uh, these symbols? to say that they're going to bring, uh, make America white again. So it, it is crazy how one symbol can mean something different uh, between everybody else. But to those people that think that and think that they're going to uh, make America white again, I don't have the okay symbol. I got the middle symbol, but I can't do it right now because we're on the TV, but you know what middle symbol I have for them so but anyway in uh, 2014 a man killed six uh, family members of his extreme wife ex-wife whatever you want to say it he just got uh, charged um, with more years he tried to go for you know bail and try to come out they didn't they didn't allow it but uh, Ronald Lee 39 years old, killed six members. He killed Stephanie Stay, which was 39, uh, Katie Stay, who was 33, two boys, a 13 and a 4-year-old, two girls, a 9 and a 7-year-old. And you think you're going to get out? Seriously? You should rot in hell. That's what you should be doing. Hey, I can say whatever I want to say. I know I'm supposed to be a little more uh, political in it, but... Hey, what's going on, Mr. Alex Polanco? The, the uh, Latino Guido man himself. Check him out. He's on Wednesdays at 6 p.m., a day right before us for the Latinos. So, but anyway, he tried to come out. It didn't make it. You killed six people with fire. Like, you burnt the house down, so you wasn't going to make it. You wasn't going to do it. But... Look at that. It's just a coincidence, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Polanco gets on, and our next topic is male uh, birth control. And this is one of the things they were speaking about on Latino Juido um, yesterday on the LDM network. They got male birth control. And I remember Javier uh, asked me, what did I think about it? Well, I'll tell you this much. I don't really think too much about it, but if you guys are going to start doing birth control, shouldn't men have a say-so on abortion. If you can, like, if you want abortion, shouldn't you tell the husband or the boyfriend or, or, or the, the chio or the one-night stand, whoever the person was, you should tell them to give them the opportunity. A lot of people are probably going to say, no, this is my body. I should I say what's going to happen to my baby. Or you didn't think it was just your body when you were laying down, didn't you? Hey, I know you're not going to like what I say, but I say what I say. When you lay down and open your legs and did the wing and did the back doggy and did all this other stuff, you wasn't saying to that person, this is my body. You said, this is yours. Go hello, papi. Take it away. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what you would say, right? Hey, this is the LDS show, and we do a little bit of speak out here. So that's why I'm speaking out. So when you were doing all this, you did not say anything. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> hey, Javier Lewis just popped on as well, too. So Javier, Javier Lewis and, and Alex Polanco, you know, this show is about the Latinos, so they can't really get into it. But this show is a little ranchy. So we can, you know, we can say what we got to say without saying curse words and stuff like that. But... Yeah, but we can say what we want to. But like I said, <laughs> take it, that's yours. <laughs> Alex Polanco said, take it, that's yours, that's yours. But I, I, in serious matter, you know what I'm saying? It's like you didn't say that when you were 
you know, doing the horizontal polka and all this other stuff, right? So why is it that a male cannot have the input on what happens with a child in abortion or not? But you want to tell us that we have to take birth control. You can't tell us what to do and then don't want us to tell you what to do or have an opinion. It doesn't work that way. You know what I'm saying? This, this woman environment or, or involved in evolution and all this other stuff that you have women are doing, you're doing half, half butt. I don't want to say the A yet. Oh, can we say ass now, right? Yeah, that's right. You're doing it half ass backwards. In other words, you want, but then you don't want to do. It's the same thing as an uh, uh, adoption. I know a lot of people don't want to do an abortion, so they give the baby up for an adoption, so they carry it for the eight to nine months. The, the people that are adopting it signs an agreement stating that when the baby's born, they get the baby. So why can't you do that with a father? That a father signs these papers and say, when the baby is born, since you didn't want it, I would take full responsibility and I would take this baby and you will not have nothing to do with the baby. Why can't we do that? I'm assuming there are males out there. And I, I know some females right now are probably going to say, oh, it's be, men's don't be taking care of their babies. There are a lot of single fathers out there that people don't know of because they don't speak of. So give them the chance. You never know. But since you didn't want it, why would you have to worry about it? You gave it up. You didn't want him or her. So that's your problem. That's all I got to say. But on male birth control, hmm, like I said yesterday, I go to, uh, what's that, bouncing house place. I go to Chuck E. Cheese. I go to the park. And when I see these kids, I'm like, ooh, no. I don't even touch my white party for like a week or two after that. <laughs> I'm like, ooh. I, I start looking at sex dolls to invest in because... <laughs> We don't want no child after that. But uh, <laughs> uh, let, let, let me uh, give you a little couple of comments here because the, uh, the Latino Juido is getting a lot of Juido on my page right now. Um, Javier said, I believe it has a lot to do with the fact that women are the ones carrying the child for six months and going through all the hormonal changes, labors, and pain. It's true, but don't you mean nine months? <laughs> <laughs> he said six months or, or six months of the hormonal changes. But again, Javier, is the same thing as them giving it up for an adoption. The people still sign that paper up, and when the baby is born, they give it up right away. They don't even give it to the mother. Oh, yeah, but in abortion, you still have the rights. The father has a rights. Should have the rights. It takes two. What happened to that? It takes two to make a thing go right. What happened to that? That's what he said. That's here. What, 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 what happened to that? It, it always takes two. So it should take two to decide a yes or no. I remember back in the days to, to get an abortion, you had to go to court. So why they don't go to court to say yes or no about an abortion? That's, and that's my thing. I don't know. We'll find out. But then Alex said, it's tough nine months carrying carrying on you, hormonals going crazy, you, you, you know, and different feelings, you know, the nausea and all this other stuff. And uh, Javier said, I agree with you, Charles. There are many good fathers out there. Yes, there is. And then Javier said, oops, I meant nine months. <laughs> so uh, if, there, if your guys are commenting on the LDM uh, page, comment. Uh, the engineer would let me know. But right now I'm watching my watch party. So... Uh, I don't see what's going on. But anyway, we're talking about the, uh, the birth control and the father's rights to say yes or no for an abortion. Now, if you are one of those fathers that have nine kids, never seen one, and you're talking about, I changed. No, 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 no. Mm. Mm. No, no. We're talking about the fathers who are fathers or new fathers who want to be fathers to that child no matter what. Birth control for a guy. Hmm. And then we read the uh, side effects. Balls hanging. Stop it. It's not in there. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Look at it. It drives, it, it dri drives the stuff like, like uh, Alex said. Uh, when, you, when you reach climate, it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it ain't no, no. You know. So you just got the air coming out. These pills will do a lot to you. 
So again, I'm not a pill person, so you can take the pills and you can take it and try it. But I'm not a pill person. Uh, so try abstinence, pull out game, condoms. Try whatever you want to try if you don't want to try these new pills. Let, like anything else that is new, let it, you know, circulate a little bit. Let it, let it get through the, uh, the errors and through the uh, trials and all that. The little trial and error, let it get through that for like about a couple of months. And then if you see no one has passed away or, or their balls or their balls didn't go um, flush in the toilet when they flushed the toilet, you know, they didn't go fishing for it. Things like that don't happen, then maybe you should take the pill. And especially if you got nine kids and don't want to take care of one. You need to take more than a pill. You need to take a snip snip. Yeah, you need to just take the snip snip. That's all I got to say. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, hey, shout out to everybody. That, uh, M and this, oh, I don't know his, his name. Steve Moore, how's it going? Stephen Moore is watching as well. So, you check you guys. Saran wrap? Somebody said Saran wrap? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, they were talking about Saran Wrap, but that's an inside joke. If you want to know what's going on with Saran Wrap, watch yesterday's episode of the Latino Juido. Go to the LDM Network or to the La Latino Juido Facebook, and you'll find out what the Saran Wrap is all about. But, uh, and again, I, I'm really, I'm not, I can't say I'm on the fence about pills, but if you need pills to survive, I'm not saying don't take it. Uh, I'm just one of those that are not a pill person, but... Especially for something like that. Uh, my pull out game is good. I, I don't know. <laughs> hey, I got a child every 10 years. I got three kids and they're all 10 years apart. 10 years apart. Pull out must be, or, or, or less is stronger every 10 years. So I got to calculate. In 10 years, I just don't touch no girl because I'll probably come out, a uh, girl come out pregnant just by sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, engineer say I'm not supposed to be touching any girls anyway. But anyway, but uh yeah, what do you guys really think about it? Should a dad if the mother doesn't want the child and automatically says I want abortion, should the abortion clinics or doctors say, "Okay, let's contact the father and see if the father will want the child." Instead of giving it up for an abortion, you know, and then there's some mothers out there that would give the child up for an uh, adoption before they even tell their dad. And then years later, the kid is so attached to their adopted parents that by law, if the father finds out that he had that child and they gave it up for uh, adoption without noticing the father, he can go and take that child away. So now he can be selfish and take the child away after many years later with that uh, adopted family and screw the kid up a little. So shouldn't you just tell the father from the get? If it's a if it's a mistake, you should you still tell the dad. It's his mistake as well. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Vasquez? Vasquez, how's it going? Uh, good evening to you too. Uh, so, who says saran wrap? I, oh, now I see it. Oh, Alex. But it, it is true. I only got a couple of minutes here, but we're going to, um, I'm, I'm definitely going to continue this on the LDM radio station on Speak Out on uh, Friday. So, I, I, think, I think we should continue this conversation because it's a good conversation. The, the engineer is like, no, no, because she's a woman. She just want to say, no, I give it up. It's my rights, my belly my body, you know, you are a woman, what you think, grab, grab that mic right there, I want to hear what you say about, does women have rights, or should they tell their dad, make sure that, that the mic is on, make sure they got batteries and everything, we, we, we're going to hear this woman point of view, called a nine volt battery right in front of your eyes, uh, because I think it takes two, it, it, that word should have a bigger impact by law, in any situations when it comes to birth controls or abortions. It takes two. That's, with all that, it should be said. Shouldn't it? Uh, your opinion real quick. 
the engineer is a female, so she's going to say her, uh, her opinion. No, I think it all depends on their relationship. Like if it's out of like a mistake, like a one night stand sort of thing, or somebody did something bad to you, like raped you and all that, then... Well, well a mistake, no, you still tell the dad. But rape, yeah, I do understand if it's rape, you don't want no part of it, you don't even want the dad. But now they're making a law where the rapists have the rights to... I know, that's why people are fighting it. Which is bizarre. That is bizarre. I don't believe in that. If you rape the person, you do not have no rights to the child. That, exactly. That I do believe. If you want an abortion, by all means, it's your body now. He had no say, no, uh, not a say so, because he did have a say so. He said he wanted to rape you. So He forfeited his right. Right. But once you committed that crime, I believe you shouldn't, yeah, no, definitely. you shouldn't be able. It's just like if a child, if a, if a child, in many cases, I, I, I've seen where the father killed the mother, comes out, he doesn't get the child. He forfeit the child. Now the child is with someone else. It should be the same way with the rapist. He doesn't have a say-so. Because this wasn't not a committed thing where she said, okay, it's a one-night stand, or okay, it was a mistake. I just wanted you because it was out of pity sex or you know, revenge sex. That's totally different. Than rape. Rape, you don't have no, no, nah, no. Nah. No, but still, I you don't have no rights. It depends on the relationship. So if you're like together and you're ha you are in a re relationship, then yeah, definitely tell your partner. Now, what what's your definition of relationship? Like you are in a committed relationship. So if you're doing the horizontal <laughs> horizontal <laughs> poker, ain't you committed into a relationship at that moment? So no. You no. committed into what you're doing, right? No. And I'm having this this relations <laughs> with you at the moment. No, that means I'm just sharing. Oh, but you're sharing exactly. your bate exactly. with me. So you're going to share your opinion of what happens this, with this child. No, with not me. necessarily. See how a woman are? <laughs> women, they want one thing and then they don't want the other. No, it doesn't work that way. You just said it's sharing of two people and they made a child. No matter if it's a one night stand or not. So they should share the idea of an abortion. Thank you very much. You heard it from a woman that <laughs> no, said it. Stop twisting my words. That's <laughs> not what I said. I'm not twisting the words. <laughs> I am saying what she has said. So, see, you, 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 if you're going to get on that mic, you got to remember <laughs> my background. Stop I'm, <laughs> I'm going to make it seem <laughs> like we are right. Uh, so, like I was saying, she admitted a woman that they share a bond that one moment. So, they should share the bond when it's an abortion. It's True or, or true or not? No, that's not so true. You, Stop. You can't me. have both ways. <laughs> Stop. So, uh, are you not in a in a committed motion? No, it's not. It's not. So it's not committed. No, it's not. So, so how you want to finish up? You got to commit to what you're doing. You see, you just don't want to say it because you know that's, I'm right. No, that's not what I'm saying. No. Guys do it all the time. You just do it. But the guys I'm commit to what they do. They got to finish up. You, you commit what you started. It's, yes stop. or no? No. Guys yeah. can commit like what? Two seconds and then finish? It don't matter. They committed those two seconds. You just said it. <laughs> they committed that. Stop. So they commit in those two seconds. That means they have a right if they want the, the mother or not to have the abortion. But if you're, fa if you're a father and the mother doesn't want the child, then you need to sign those um, paperwork stating that you're going to be solely um, prepared and solely the only one taking care of that child. If you sign those papers, I see no reason why okay. she should get an abortion because it's the same as her giving it up for an, um, an adoption. Am I right or am I right? No, you're wrong. I'm okay, right. so Risa said, with the exception of rape, I feel a man has a right to know. Thank you. Another female that agree, a man should have the rights to know. So then if he has the rights to know, that means he has the rights to say yes or no. You see how that works? No, 
See, so, oh, here we go again. Let me hear the woman's point of view on this one. Well, we, we could let you know, but that doesn't mean that we'll listen to what you're supposed to say. No, no, you don't got to listen. You just got to hear it and abide by it because <laughs> you don't really got to listen. Why would you, we abide by it? You're not going to share the pain of nine months vomiting and all that. No. Yeah, and then uh, Javier said, I agree, men should have more rights. We should. But again, don't get, don't get it wrong what I'm trying to say. If you're a male that never took care of your kids, nine kids, ten kids, you got, you got Sonequa and Contisha and whatever, all these people with, with babies all over the world, no. But if you sign this paperwork and the judge says, listen, I believe that this guy is good, a good father. He can uh, financially right. take care of him uh, and do all this. Since you don't want him, you, you give him up for an adoption to the father or 100% legal to the father, meaning you're not going to be part of the kid's life, just like you're giving it up for an adoption to strangers. So why couldn't you give it up to the father? That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so Edgar said both have rights by law if they seek to it. The problem is there's too much red tape on this issue. Abortion Correct. is an all too political issue, especially by court, by women or men. Yeah, you know, it is so true, but we could keep on going, but it hit the 7 o'clock mark, um, and we have to cut it, you know, the net word is like, hey, we ain't paying for extra time here. Wait, hello, I'm the boss, but anyway, I got the, the big boss on the engineering area. But uh, again, this is a good topic, so let's keep the conversation going um, and on the comments, and let's talk to each other and see. But there is a lot of red tape, so we need to figure something out because... There are guys like myself that are fathers to our child. So if the mother doesn't want to be that father, and just like Javier and just like uh, Alice Polanco would be one day um, soon, you know, we, we no, we just keep throwing that in there. We try, we try, we're trying to, you know, get him to to be a parent, but <laughs> planting seeds. No, no, <laughs> planting uh, 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 things in his brain. <laughs> No, but he even seems like he'll be a good dad. So there are good dads out there, and the red tape, like he said, is stopping them for, for doing what they got to do. And then it comes with the other red tape of child support, but that's a whole different story where one day I will sit down and speak about as well. But uh, right now, I want to thank all you guys for chiming in and speaking on this matter. Uh, it is a tough matter. Uh, Renee said, I'm going to last comment here. In the end, it is her body. After a discussion is had and you don't come to an agreement, she has more say so. Sorry. The key word was if they do not come to an agreement, but by all law, they are still made by two people. So if they cannot come out with agreement, does a baby stay or does a baby wait? To come back to the world another time. Uh, I, I never say a baby is killed or dead. Or, you know, abortion to me is just means it's not your time. Go back to the, the, the line and you're going to come back out again. Maybe you come back out with a different parent or something like that. You know, that's how I believe. So, if you're saying to that child, not, not at this moment. But again, there are a lot of people that are giving kids up for... Uh, an adoption and they holding that baby for the nine months to give it up they even selling babies you know what I'm saying they being uh, it, but it's a lot to talk about but anyway we're running we're running out of time hey I'm Charles Aloma I'll see you next week we'll talk about some other uh, controversy topic that I'm gonna throw on I love this con you know hey I threw an MTA uh, controversy um, topic there so I'm gonna throw another question for next week so, again, this is Charles Aloma. This is the LDM Show right here on the LDM Network. Check you out, and remember to check out all the shows that are on this network. See ya. Be safe. He's got me. He's good.